Hi guys, it's Weeded, and I'm back to show you what the cold wax looks like. And the one step that I've not shown is when the you put in the one ounce of Damar resin and a little bit of beeswax, okay? A little bit of your eight ounces of beeswax, and you let the beeswax melt and the resin, and then you stir really well to try to get the resin to mix in with the beeswax. Okay, once that's done, you put in the rest of your beeswax, let it all melt, stir it together, then when it's melted, add eight ounces of Gamsol. Let it cool, stir it together, let it cool, and this is what it looks like, okay? Um, your palette knife should go in easily, and you should be able to lift up wax very easily. If it's too hard, just add some more Gamsol. If it's too soft, add some more bees, uh, beeswax. So that's what the cold wax looks like. Now I want to compare that to Gamblin's, okay? cold wax medium with Gamblin and I'm going to wipe this off then you can see it's the same consistency it's nice and soft it's easily manipulated but it doesn't do anything and you know your question is you know, why do we want cold wax if you do anything with oils your cold wax acts like um, it lets you build up a lot of texture easily and it lets you do some other things um, you can one add texture but you can work back through it you can put it on layers I like to put it on layers and then work back through the layers and I'll have some examples of some cold wax on my uh, channel soon but anyway this is the way to make it I leave it in this crock pot okay um, I'm impatient so this one does have settings. I set it on high to get the resin to melt, but if you don't have settings, you don't have to worry about it. It's just that I happen to get one that did have settings. Set it on high, let the resin melt into that little bit of beeswax, make sure you mix it up, add the rest of your beeswax, it'll melt, then add the gamsol, and really that's it. And you have a huge pot of cold wax that you then can play with. Alright guys, bye.